Hello everyone. This video is about SINAR, 4G and 5G. What are the difference between these two SINARs? So before going into the details of differences, let's first understand what is SINAR. SINAR is your measure of signal quality. It can be defined as the ratio of your wanted signal and unwanted signal plus noise. Higher your SINAR, higher will be your spectral efficiency. Why? Because your modulation schemes are higher if the SINAR is higher. So good SINAR leads to a good modulation scheme and hence a better spectral efficiency. In other words, better user experience also throughput is increased. So every network operator will want, will seek to maximize their SINAR values. These are your uh, in general SINAR or radio condition ranges considered as good, bad, excellent. So you can read it from here. So generally anything uh, greater than zero is good but some operator have their own thresholds like some keep greater than 10 as a better one and less than 10 as poor signer so it's all based on your uh, operator choices so this is your signer signal to noise ratio wanted signal divided by unwanted signal plus noise so now let's go to the next slide so the basic difference between LTE SINAR and 5G SINAR is in 5G we are having three kind of three different kind of SINARs. So this calculation is based on like three methods in 5G and every method is unique. They are there is no correlation between all these three as such. So based on your UE capabilities you will be having different different kind of SINAR and also your network should support that particular reporting. So now before going into the 5G details let's understand what is 4G SINAR based on. So your 4G SINAR is based on your reference signals that is RS, RP, reference signal, received power. So in 4G this SINAR is based on RS, reference signals. So there, here is you have like three resource grids. I've divided it into PCA 0, 1 and 2. Just for the matter of fact that reference signal values, I mean position in frequency domain changes with the change in PCI. So that is why you're having mod 3 PCI planning so that the reference signal will be changed and the interference will be avoided. This you can see the value of reference signal. The green one is your reference signal. These two are your PSS SSS and the white ones are white or you may say light blue. These are your PBCH. So the green ones, the ones we need right now, these are the green ones. So green ones are changing their position based on the PCI and they are very abundantly available. So there is nothing like it is repeated less during a subframe. So abundantly available and the position changes based on your PCI. So less will be your interference. So it's all on your RS, RF position. So what is the formula of sin R in LT? RS as you can see here, this is common formula. RS signal divided by RS interference. That is your LT sin R. So the same sin R, same methodology could have been used in 5G also. But no, 5G is not having your reference signals in their resource structure. They are having, they are handling this thing differently to achieve more robustness of the network. So now you have SS SINAR. So to understand SS SINAR, 
you might have heard the word SSB. So this SSB consists of your PSS, SSS and PBSCH. So in 5G combinedly all these three are known as SSB and the position of SSB does not change regardless of any PCI value or any other factor. The SSB is SSB, same position. So now if this does not change the position, so as we have seen in LTE, the position change is making our network less susceptible to the, net, uh, to the interference. So here this thing is not changing. The position is fixed. SS sign R. Okay. So now this particular sign R is generally used for access and mobility only. Because sign R mostly used for your throughput calculations. So that the sign R will be converted into your CQI and then henceforth your throughput calculations are done. Uh, which channels to be used and what data to be transferred. So for the throughput calculation you are having a different kind of sign R. So generally this CSI sign R is used for throughput calculation. That is your CSI reference signal. But this particular sign R has its own drawback also. Now this CSI reference signal is not always present in your resource grid. It is present only in the case the user is there. If there is no user, no CSI reference signal. So during the access, you cannot use this particular CSI reference signal because it is not always available. But for SS sign R, the SSB is always available. Your PBCH will always be available. SSS, PSS will be always available. It has a fixed position. So that's the difference. For access part, for mobility part, you are having SS sign R. But for throughput calculations, you are having CSI sign R. I hope uh, it's clear. Well, uh, there is one more sign R which is named as PDSCS sign R. So some UEs are capable of reporting this also. So the drawback of CSI sign R is it is not present in every subframe. It is based on your UE presence and periodicity of CSI. So now for PDSCH, PDSCH will be that is your data channel. So this will be always available. So this particular channel can be used for reporting uh, in combination with the CSI for your sign R reporting. So this particular way is also used by some of the UEs. So, so far we have discussed like three different different types of sign R. One is used for access and mobility, initial access. Another one is used for your throughput calculations. What happens if you are using SS sign R for throughput calculation? Well, if you are using SS sign R for throughput calculation, since the position of SSB is not changing in SS in 5G, so there will be more interference. So the sign R will be mostly bad. The position of SSB is not changing. So there will be interference. So that is why we are using CSI sign R for throughput calculation. And vice versa, I hope you understand why we cannot use CSI sign R for access related things because it is not repeated. So these two are very clear and this third one is a combination of your PDSCH channel which is always reported and CSI sometimes reported while throughput calculation and, and the user is active. So these three kinds of sign R are present in 5G. I hope you understood the differences of uh, 
Synar in LT and 5G. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe and share so that I'll be motivated to do more videos, shorter videos like this. Thank you. Thank you.